Hello, hello everyone. This is Jen and it has been a while. I am here today. Oh, let's see if I can get a better screen there. Well, hello, hello. I know I have a big um, line you can see right here, but we're not going to be using this very long. Hi, everyone. How are you doing today? This is Jen with Jen's Den Art, and I have something very special that I want to do with y'all today. Today is going to be called New Technique Wednesday, which I have not been on for the last few weeks, and I'm going to fill you in on what's been going on. For those of you who don't know, Hello, my friends, Elizabeth and Cindy and Margaret. So glad y'all are here. Hey, Tribe Sister here, working and lurking. Hey, Judy. Hey, Christine. Um, so we are in the process of moving back to Louisiana, if you did not know. And um, hey, Miss Connie and Nadine, how are y'all? Hey, 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 I'm seeing all y'all coming on. I'm so excited. Um, and so that's why I have been kind of MIA for a little while, but I wanted y'all to know that I'm still around, we're still trucking it, and we are still painting, um, a lot of stuff. <laughs> okay, so I'm getting myself all situated here. Um, this is what we have going on today. Can y'all see this? old you know i didn't even clean it off i guess i should have yeah i probably should have so one of my good friends here in montana her and i went to a um let me get a rag to wipe this off her and i went to a, um you know one of those markets where it's like a vintage market and they have like all kind of old stuff well she bought this um, this old saw, and she left it with me after she bought it. And she said, "I want you to paint something on here for me, so I could hang in my house." And I said, "Okay." Well, it's probably been about two months, <laughs> and I've been having it sit here, saying, "Hmm, what am I going to paint? What am I going to paint? What am I going to paint?" And she actually lives, her name is Gina, and she actually lives right across the, um, the mountain from us. And I notice a lot of her Facebook um, posts, and she may be watching this right now, I don't know, but she might be working. Um, a lot of her Facebook posts, now you need an old saw. <laughs> I'm kind of nervous about this, but we're going to figure it out. This is one of my, my new techniques. I've never done this before. Um, she lives in the mountains and I noticed that a lot of her posts that she posts about is, um, not a lot, but she really, she really talks a lot about bison and how much she loves, uh, bison. And there is, there's a form, there's a ranch, actually a bison ranch, I guess about five or six miles from here on our way into Helena and she always stops and takes pictures of them. And so I figured what we're going to do on this saw for her, and this is going to be a surprise because she just told me to do what I want, but I know she, you know, she loves the mountains and she loves bison. So um, what we're going to do is my goal is to, um, now this is, this is not big at all. So I'm thinking through this with y'all. Have any of y'all ever painted on an old saw before? Hey, Jackie and Jennifer and Terry and Martha and <laughs> yes. Hi, Denise. We're so glad you're here too. Hey, Candy and Patsy. And yeah, I'm seeing all my old friends here coming on. I'm so excited. All right. So do me a favor and sprinkle the love because you know, we have a lot of love to give in this group and on my Facebook page. And I want to um, thank you all for following me. I just recently hit 35,000 followers, woohoo! which is like a big deal. <laughs> so let's see what we have. We have, this is a 24 inch saw. So no, I'm sorry. This is a 24 inch ruler. 
So we're looking at 24 and 12. Okay, so that's 36 inches long. And it starts off, let's see, it's only five and a half inches deep. And then it goes all the way to two inches. All right, so y'all help me out here. This is going to be our um, interactive painting. So I pulled up, if I can find the picture. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, yes, here they are. I pulled up two pictures on my computer. One of them is of a bison, which I'm thinking I'm going to put right here. We're going to have about this big. He's facing this way. I'm going to just draw him really, really, really rough. Okay, so this is going to be the main focus of the painting. All right, and in the background, this is just a piece of chalk, y'all, if y'all were wondering. In the background, we're going to have different layers of mountains. So we're going to have, we're going to have some sky. All right, and then I'm going to come with like some of those Montana mountains. If you know what Montana mountains look like, you'll understand, especially where we live. So our Montana mountains, they're not a lot of, um, well, let me just show you. I can, I can take this camera and I can just point it up. So this is my view. I don't know if y'all can see that. This is my view from where I am right now. OK, so you can see we're already six thousand feet up, so we're not getting a really like we're getting a view of the mountains looking down. Um, but. I want to do more of like a Yellowstone National Park type mountain setting where you're more in a valley and then you can see the mountains in the background. So um, I'm going to make this area just like a valley area and maybe we'll even put like a little maybe a little barn or something i don't want a lot of detail in it i just want it i don't know i'm kind of nervous what do y'all think is that a good plan okay all right hey miss shay i have painted several saws i sanded and primed before i painted uh-oh well we didn't do that so let's see how this is going to work all right, all I did was clean it with a um, with a wet rag, sanded and primed. Hmm. Well, here we go. <laughs> this is going to be, let me put it about right here, and then I'm going to show you how I'm going to do this. All right, so let's go. Let's start with a beautiful blue. Let's start with a beautiful blue because I'm going to work on the sky first and then I'm going to work my way down. So I'm going to grab this phalo blue. I think that's plenty. And then I'm going to grab some white. And I'm just going to start the process. Oh, let's see. A filbert brush would probably be, oh goodness. I used some E600. You know how y'all always tell me to use E600? Is that what you call it? Or E6000? You know how y'all tell me to use that? Well, I used it and I, st <laughs> I stuck it back in my, I used it on this one. And I stuck it back in my paint can, my paintbrush can, and now I got it all stuck on my other paintbrush. That's okay. We'll figure out how to clean it. I only have about 350 paintbrushes, so I think we're going to be okay. Okay. I wet my paintbrush. I'm taking some of this beautiful blue. Look at that, how gorgeous. That phalo blue is my new favorite blue. 
So I'm just going to come through here. I really want, um, I really want this to be my style of painting. I don't want to do anything. I want this to be a good, like, you know, cause we're leaving our friends. We're leaving them. They are, um, they're staying here and we've really made good friends with them. And, uh, I want this to be something that she will hopefully remember us by. I don't know how far I need to go down. Her and her husband and her grandson, or her son, I guess I should say. Because um, she is raising him to be like her son. So um, let's get all of this nice and... Oops, sorry, I'm hitting my head on my, let's go all the way. I know y'all can't see everything. Let's see if we can get that a little clearer. This looks like it's going to be hard, but then now I'm thinking, oh, maybe it's not going to be so hard. But the thing is, I'm making it up as we go. So that's what's making it hard because... I'm looking at right now it's kind of a uh, smoky a little bit it's kind of like the, there's not really any clouds in the sky it's just kind of murky but we have you all know montana has some beautiful beautiful skies not necessarily just blue like i'm doing right now we have some of those, especially up here. We can see for days. We have like a little bit of a, um, like, you know, those. Well, I mean, you have them in it. You have them all over in the world, not just here. But I will tell you, compared to living in Louisiana, the skies have definitely, you know, they call Montana big sky for a reason. Because it's like you can see for miles and miles and miles. So I'm just going to kind of. Yes, I'm a little concerned, Miss Terry, about the size as well. So now that was wind. We're getting some wind coming in. Um. The main thing you want to do is you you want to keep like if she's going to hang it that's going to be the top. I would think it would be straight like the top of it would be what is going to be um, leveled and then underneath that is what's going to be you know, you're just going to have to play with what's underneath. But I would definitely think that the top of it is going to be the level part. That's going to be what's going to be horizontal with her, you know, her ceiling. Um, wouldn't y'all think? I'm just going to add a little bit more white. In here. For some more clouds. So the blue I'm using is called phalo blue and it's really really pr pretty. It's like a it's like a sapphire blue, you know, like you would think of the birthstone which is my birthstone, that's why I guess I know it really well. And then we're going to start we're going to add our mountain, we're going to have a few different, um, precious, hey, Miss Debbie, <laughs> how are you? I wish I had the old saw from my grandfather. Yeah, wouldn't that be sweet? 
Okay, so that's going to be my sky. I'm not doing anything um, crazy. I um, Let me see. I might add, I'm making this up, y'all, as I go. So I might add just a little bit of like a, just a little bit of a sunset color. Let's see what I got. I got some yellow. And if it doesn't work, I can just always go over it and not worry about it. So I'm going to add, I have like kind of like a peach and a yellow, and I'm going to kind of mix them together. And I'm just going to dry brush. Today is super, um, super warm today. I mean, I say super warm. It's like, I don't know, it might be like 60 degrees outside. So look at that. I think that's going to be pretty. Need a little bit more of this pink. I'm trying to make my paintbrush like really almost like a dry brush. Yes, I have not been live lately at all. I took off the last three weeks, actually. And um, the last three weeks, I haven't been live on my page. Usually, I go live every Wednesday. But um, because we've been packing for our move and we've had um, inspections to be done because we sold the house and we've had... Um, appraisals to be done and then we had some work to be done to the house too that we were working on so it's just been super super crazy around here and um that's kind of what's been going on so i've been meaning to paint this painting for a good while now and this is basically going to force me to do it because I'm coming live with y'all. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some, um, I want the mountains and I'm going to show y'all again, just to give you an idea of what I'm looking at. Okay. You see how, oops, I wasn't supposed to do that. Hang on. You see how like way, way back there, the mountain range is like almost like a grayish blue color. And then as you get closer, the mountains are, um, you know, more, more prevalent in its colors. So I'm going to do the same thing here. So we're going to start with, I'm going to try to go with like a Payne's gray and maybe a little bit of, um, Payne's gray and white. I just broke the cover off of that one. So yes, we did get our house in Louisiana, Terry. Um, everything is ready to go there. We got the inspection done. We got the appraisal done. And now we are just, they, um, they wanted an extended amount of time to move out, which is fine with us because the people that are buying this house wanted an extended amount of time before they could move in. So it's all working out really well. So we're leaving this house um, May 31st and we don't move into our new house until um, June 30th. So we have a month of fun with my son and his wife, my son and daughter-in-law, and they just bought a house and they just, they bought an old house that they just finished like remodeling and they're just moving in this week. So we get to go help them. I think they have a couple of rooms left to paint. So they're already like, are y'all going to come help us paint? <laughs> So, all right, let's see. 
Let's see if this is going to work. This color is not going to work because you see my blues in the sky. So I'm going to have to go a little bit darker. I want a contrast. Okay, I want a contrast. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go a little bit lighter in my sky to get that contrast. So I'm going to add some white. And I'm going to come back in here. And I'm just going to add a little more lightness to the sky so that I have that contrast that I want. Okay, so let's try this again. I'm going to grab this dark. I'm still using a filbert brush. Okay, but now I'm going to go into the... Um, What did I call this? Payne's Gray. All right. So I'm looking at a bunch of mountain ranges. I'm actually looking at the mountain range right there on the outside of my window. I'm just going to start making the outline. Have y'all ever heard of the Sleeping Giant? Any of y'all ever heard of the Sleeping Giant? I might make the sleeping giant. I'm not really good at this though, but I'm going to have to go in and be more strategic with it. I'm going to have to be more um, exact. So the let's see if y'all ever heard of the sleeping giant. Yes. Okay. So the sleeping giant is a, let me see if I can pull it up on my phone. The sleeping giant is a, a mountain range in Helena that looks like a sleeping giant because of the, the hills of it. Let's see if I can find it. The sleeping giant. Okay. Oh, no, that one's in Canada. That's not it. Sleeping Giant, Helena, Montana. No, oh, that's a Sleeping Giant images. Okay, so let me show you. This looks like a good picture of it. Let me show you the Sleeping Giant. Can y'all see that? There we go. Okay, so here's his nose. Here's his nose and there's his forehead. Can you see him? He's laying down. Let me see if I can point at him. Okay, so here's his nose. Here's his mouth, his lips. There's his forehead. And then there's his neck. And then there's his belly. Okay, so that is the sleeping giant. And that is probably about 20 minutes from our house. And um, it's like a lot of things in the area are named after the sleeping giant. So I think I'm going to try to make the outline of the sleeping giant right here so that, you know, that could be a part of the painting as well. That would be super fun. So let me get a smaller paintbrush and try just this one. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this to kind of make a sleeping giant. So we're gonna follow, let me just do the outline. I'm gonna go up here. This paintbrush might be too small. And then we're going to go down. There's the neck. I'm just going to make it really big. And then right here, we're going to have a couple of little spots. 
thoughts. There's his nose and then his forehead. All right. So I'm going to keep that in there and then I'm going to come back with a smaller paintbrush and just kind of fill that in. as one of the mountain ranges. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. We were here for about a year before I actually saw the sleeping giant. I mean, I kept on looking at it, but I couldn't see it. <laughs> and then one day when we were passing by and I don't know, it just hit me that day. And I was like, oh, my gosh, I see it now. <laughs> But at first, I could not see it at all. And so, yeah, it's a, it's a big, um, no, that's not enough paint. All right. So I, you think she'll be able to know that that's the sleeping giant right there? I'm not going to tell her, but I'm going to ask her if she sees anything. I'm getting paint all over myself, y'all. All right. So that's going to be a really, really far mountain range back there. And I'm just going to keep it going. It came out pretty good. The sleeping giant little addition in there. Okay, so let's keep it going. I'm just going to come, I'm just going to kind of make the rest of it up on my own. I'm just going to make some little mountain ranges all back here look at that already isn't it cool it's amazing what you can do when you don't even think you know what you're doing huh but if you just take the opportunity to put that paintbrush down and make it do something for you you will be very surprised at what you can do so We are just going to kind of fill all of that in. Okay, so this is where we're going to start having some fun. And we'll be able to make a lot of different um, mountain ranges here. I'm just trying to fill this in. And it's time to go to more of the greens. So we're going to transition now. Let me open this door because it's getting hot in here. Okay, we're going to transition now to, oh my gosh, I love it already. She'll know? Yeah, it's kind of visible. I'm so glad. All right, so we're going to transition to, now in Montana, something that's very popular here, and, and I'm not doing a snow scene. Actually, I'm going to put some snow on some of the mountains because some of the, the far mountains out right now have snow and i mean montana is about eight and a half months of the year is winter here so one of the things that's very common in montana as well is um a lot of like we only have maybe about six weeks of green like green grass i'm not joking you the rest of the time is really really dry um like brown brown and unless it's a rancher that's using the water system you know they have a natural water system going on but i'm going to use a warm gray and i'm going to mix it with some green 
Um, where's my green? Let's see. I had my green. Yeah, sap green. And look, you can see in this picture. Can y'all see that? Can y'all still see? I keep on um, going out of my screen. You can see in this picture, you see how a lot of the land is kind of like a greenish brown. It's very common here because it's so dry. So in order for the ranchers to um, make hay in their fields, they, um, they have to use the streams and pump water into their pastures to get, um, to get grass to grow to be able to make hay. And so um, what happened last year was there was not enough water. We had a drought last year. There was not enough water to make enough grass. So um, they had to kill off a lot of their animals because they couldn't feed them. So we had a really, really tough season last year with the, uh, all of the ranchers. Okay, so I'm mixing, I'm making up my own kind of greenish color. It's a warm gray with a sap green. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in front of these mountains and I'm gonna make another mountain range. In this color. So I'm just kind of making the outline right now. And then I'll come back and fill it in. So I think that color is pretty. Yeah, the hardest part of this painting is the size. So I'm just going to keep on going. Come back and fill this in a little bit. So yeah, have any of y'all ever been in an airplane? This was me before I knew Montana. She has a knack for that. That is so sad. Amazing how the scene starts appearing before our eyes. <laughs> yes, you don't have to mow. We don't own a lawnmower. We're going to have to buy one when we move back to Louisiana. Um, so for those of you who are from the South, this happened to me. Um, when I was probably about 20 years old, I um, was the first time I ever flew in an airplane. And when I was flying over certain states, I was like, what is, what's all of those round, like it was like round fields, you know? I had no idea what that was, but now I know. <laughs> because they have them here all over the place. So, you know, if you're not from this area, you wouldn't know that. But um, yeah, that's all of their watering systems. And they, they take those long, long watering systems that are on wheels and they move it around. Like they have one stationary spot and then they move it around in a circle and it pumps water through the whole thing. And that's how they water their grass to make hay for their cattle. And they pump the water from the streams. The nearby streams is where most of the water comes from. Or they have water wells on their property. Yeah, you've wondered the same thing. Yeah, it's like, oh, there's circle crops, you know, like. <laughs> but it's not. It's those big watering systems. And um, they have to pump water. From the ground they have to have water wells to pump the water to to make grass or to make hay or if they have a stream close by they pump it from the streams so yeah that's how they get their water yes we are on a well here and we only have four gallons per minute that come into our um our water our water system here which is actually one of the things that the, the sellers, I mean, not the sellers, I always say the wrong thing. The buyers negotiated to put a new water well because of the lack of water that we have here. Four gallons a minute is not very much. 
Um, but that's just, that's just, that's all they're going to get. Like we live on the top of a mountain. So they can try to, I don't know, maybe they can try to drill another well and get more water. But we have a water well and we have a, um, we have a, a thousand gallon propane tank that, um, that feeds our heat. And it takes us about a thousand gallons a winter to, um, to keep, to keep the house warm. We also have a wood burning stove, but okay. I'm just going to paint over my, um, my bison right now because I want the flow of this grass to work well. So y'all see, look how pretty it is. I'm so excited. All right. We're going to have to make some trees too, though. You know, I have to have trees. So y'all see this, see this, this is a good indication of what I'm, it's actually kind of what I'm going for here. So I'm going to come down a little bit further with my, now it looks like I'm going to have to put a couple of layers because um, my paint's being transparent on this dark surface. Although I think it looks, I think it looks really good. Yep, 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 yep. This is so cool. I love this. I love painting on old things. I think I need to start doing that more in the tribe. What do y'all think? You're going to start painting on older, like old pieces of wood. And the only thing though, when I, if I do that in the tribe, all the tribe members think, Oh, I have to go find the same exact piece of wood or something, you know, and I don't want them to think that. So I don't know. I think it would be fun. All right. I'm going to fill this in with some green and some brown. And then I'm going to come back and add some. Um, Need a little bit of water. Trying to make it a little smoother in the process. I'm still using the same paintbrush, y'all. I have not changed yet. I'm going to have to change when I start doing the trees. And look, this is really, really sharp. Don't ask me how I know. <laughs> Do not ask me how I know that this saw would definitely cut a tree down. <laughs> I had it on the floor leaning against something. And I accidentally hit it with my foot the other day. And I'm not going to say any more because I'm sure y'all could figure out what happened from there, right? It was a very fun and exciting experience. <laughs> I didn't need to go to the hospital or anything, though. It was just, um, okay, you see how I'm making all these other heels? So watch what I'm going to do first before I start making all these other heels. This is the exciting part. So excited. I am going to take a, um, just like a, I'm looking for like a mini, a mini old paintbrush, kind of small because this is a small surface. This might work. Okay, something like this, just kind of an old paintbrush. And I'm gonna take this dark, dark green, dark, dark, dark green. And I'm gonna come in here
I'm gonna zoom in for y'all so y'all can get an idea of what I'm doing. I'm gonna start making some little tree, like, you know, the Christmas trees here are super popular. Our evergreens basically is what I'm going for. I'm gonna make some little areas that have these evergreens. I don't know if I like this paintbrush. I might have to switch it out. I'm just tapping. Let me make some right here. I'm trying to make them a little taller and skinnier. I think I might use a smaller paintbrush. Let's see. Let me try this one. This one looks, this is much smaller. You'll see it. All right, so let's try this one. Maybe I can get a little more detail in there. Okay, so that's not dark enough. I want it to be almost black. I like the color of this one right here. Can y'all see? Yeah, y'all can see. All right, so I'm going to put a few and then I'm going to come back with, I'm just going to kind of make another another little mountain range area and you see how they kind of like hide behind the mountain range or basically the hills i'm, I'm starting to make hills now and i'm gonna make another one back over here i'm gonna make this one just go down so i'm i'm kind of hiding the base of the trees like they're behind another layer of um of heels let's do that right here Okay, let's bring in a few more. Can y'all see over here? No. Okay, this thing is long. Let's put a few over here. Just tapping. All right. Then I'm going to come back some more.
see just that little touch of color or change of color makes it look like a whole nother and a whole nother layer all I did was add let me get a little bit of white in here and see yeah that looks good so watch when I add this color watch how you can see there's a whole nother layer that just developed Okay, I think I'm just going to leave this end like that. See that right there? Look how pretty that is. Isn't that pretty? I think I'm just going to leave it. I really like the way this, this side I think I'm good with. Okay, and then as we come in, we're going to add a little bit more of these trees. Um, let's make these go all the way like off the off the whole thing so now we're getting we're getting a lot closer to our bison okay so our bison is gonna be um, he's gonna be pretty big right here so in order to make this whole perspective work oh my goodness I'm loving it I'm loving it I hope she likes it as much as I do um in order to get the perspective going that we want then all of these trees that i add right here are gonna have to be close to us so we're gonna make these trees you see i'm gonna use a bigger paintbrush to go a little faster we're gonna make these trees come much bigger Because this is going to be the area. You know what? I don't think I'm going to do any more trees. I don't like that tree by itself right there. But I think I want to start on my bison. What do y'all think? Oh, I thought about doing more than one. Um, I don't know. Let's see how it works out. Let's see. Let's see. I, I didn't want to commit to doing a bunch because I didn't want to like I, I'm scared and nervous that I don't know how to paint a bison because I've never painted a bison before <laughs> but um but maybe maybe it'll come out okay let's see all right so there's our trees that are going to go off right there okay so let's zoom in let's get this bison going um, let me pull up that picture I had of the bison. Okay, I'm going to take a picture of it so y'all can see it. I just randomly pulled one from Google, but I'm going to show it to y'all. Okay, that's the one I'm using. Can y'all see it? All right. Okay, let's do this. Um, tiny brush. Looks like I need some dark browns and light browns. So, let's see where all those colors are. Where's my burnt umber? Oh, there it is. It's in front of my face. All right, so we've got our burnt umber. We've got a teeny bit of um, black. We're gonna also use another color I have not been using a lot that would probably work well here is raw umber. Let me grab that one. The raw umber is gonna be like the, the part of the head. Cause the raw umber is like, can y'all see the difference in these two colors? Raw umber is like, a really 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 dark almost black brown and burnt umber is more of a lighter brown so I'm gonna go with those two and then I'm gonna go with some white there's some white that I just had here's some white and then I'm gonna use some um 
yellow ochre as well. Okay, so let me get that white. And then let me grab, this is yellow oxide. Should have a yellow ochre somewhere around here. Yellow oxide, yellow ochre. There we go. Okay. Maybe I need yellow oxide. I'm not sure. But it's almost the same color. Okay. So y'all can see my color, my color palette that I'm using right there. I might have to sit down for this. This is not a good paintbrush. It's got paint stuff, you know, going out in all directions. The, uh, the little... The hairs on the paintbrush are going out in all directions, so I don't want to use that one. All right. There's my bison. Let's see if I can draw him like I want. Let me start just doing an outline of him. Okay, let me see it. Get my bearings straight here. All right. I'm just drawing the outline of him. Kind of just using my paintbrush for a for a a pencil, you know. I'm just looking at the outline. I'm not doing anything else but worried about the outline. How's he looking? I think he needs a higher back. Hey, babe. I'm live. I'm live. I'm going live. That's okay. I love you too later. <laughs> that was Michael. He said hi. <laughs> Take a screenshot, then enlarge it when you look at the photo. I wonder if a bison is a buffalo or the same thing. Okay, so we were told that all of the... Um, okay, what did you find out when you Googled it? I Googled it, and they're not the same thing. Yes, they are not the same thing. So there's not a lot of buffalo left in the United States but there are bison. So that's, I don't know, I never researched it enough, but um, something about like, you know, in the old, the old days, most of the bison, the buffalo were, um, were killed, were killed off. People started killing them for their hides and everything. And um, I don't know the whole history behind it, but Okay, so I'm starting to paint. The inside of him. This is yellow ochre. But yeah, uh, we are told that what we have in Montana are bison. So let me know if you find out anything different. All right, we're going to make his hair. I'm just going to touch. 
I'm using um, burnt umber and yellow ochre mixed together. And a little bit more. So what'd you find out? They killed a bunch of them for the railroad workers putting in the railroads. Okay. You can get the perspective and size of things so natural. Thank you, Miss Curry. Um, so what do we know? <laughs> hey, Donna, we're getting there. We're getting there. We will be ready for May 31st. Michael's last day of work is May 26th. And so when he finishes, we're going to go rent the U-Haul and we're going. We actually staged out in our garage. We staged out the whole area. Um, like, you know, our plan is to rent, what is it, an, a 6 by 12 um, U-Haul trailer. So we staged it all out. We we you know, like made the whole area and we, we were like, okay, let's see how much stuff we can fit in this area. <laughs> so that's what we've been doing. We're trying to decide like, what can we bring and what can we not bring? So we gave a lot of stuff away to Goodwill because we're kind of at that point to where we have to make some important decisions. You know, like we have like a whole shelf. Okay. So here's an example of what I'm talking about. We have like a whole shelf of um of books. You know, like all kind of books, just like story books, whatever. And it's like, okay, do we need to bring all of these books? Uh we haven't opened them in 10 years. Do we donate them to charity? Do we give them to Goodwill? Do we give them to the other the homeless shelter here? You know, like what do we do? So we just have to start making some decisions like that. Like we're not going to use the books. We're not going to open them. Like maybe we will. I don't know when we get older and we can't do anything else. I don't know. But it's all those kind of little decisions. Not anything important. But Michael loves um, books. He's always bought books. And he has a lot of spiritual books and Bibles. And uh, but he didn't throw any of those away. He's like, nope, I'm keeping those. I'm bringing those with me. But um, like I have some books that I read years ago, um, you know, just like love story books that my mama gave me and stuff like that. And I don't know. So we're we're at that point to where we're getting down to the nitty gritty on, you know, when you watch that show, that that hoarder show and they make you put piles of what you really want to keep. And what you can throw away and what you can donate to charity. That's what we've been doing for the last two weeks. <laughs> the military killed off many and just left them to rot. The history is sad. It is really sad. Not sure why. We're doing the same thing, Ginger. We're going through stuff too. Yeah. Oh, did y'all find a place to live, Sam? Did y'all find another place to live? I know you said that that was an issue. Let us know how that's going. Because, yeah, you find stuff. Like, I have stuff in my closet. I'm like, oh, I can't fit in these jeans anymore, but I really love them. And I'm going on a diet, and I'm going to fit in these jeans again. <laughs> so I'm keeping them because they're my inspiration. <laughs> Oh, Sandy, we will continue to pray for you. I hope you find a place soon. So should I throw the jeans away? I'm so afraid if I throw the jeans away that I'm giving up on my diet and getting skinny again. <laughs> what do y'all think? Does that really happen? Do you really give up on your diet if you throw away a pair of jeans that you love that you can't fit in anymore? 
Is that does that mean like you're giving up on getting skinny? I don't know. Y'all need to help me with that. I need counseling on that kind of stuff. <laughs> I found a bunch of houses with the numbers. Oh, darn it. Well, yeah, is he, isn't he coming out good? I'm liking him. I'm liking him. I'm liking him. Okay, let's go to this darker, this facial area. Let's go down. I'm using a small paintbrush, y'all, to do this. It's a round number two master's touch, and I like the way it's working. I'm kind of giving him a little bit of texture around his um, his head and the this area. I don't know what you call that. So that's why I'm kind of just tapping because it's actually giving a little texture to the whole fur by tapping. And I want to cover up my white areas. So I'm going to have to be a little strategic here. I know his eye is like way on the side of his face, but I don't know. Maybe I'll, no, I better not do that, huh? That's going to look ugly, but I can do the horn. Let's do this horn coming out like that. Ooh, look how cute he's looking. I'm gonna let that dry a little bit. His belly's super fat, isn't it? I think I made his belly too fat. Looks like he's pregnant. Okay, so we're gonna add some grass around his feet. Let me take a step back. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all, but I know I need to do, I need to blend this in some more. So I'm gonna make his cape or whatever you call this come out further. Just a little bit. All right, let's get that little tail, the little swoosh tail like that. Let's go a little darker. Y'all, this is so much fun. A little bit darker in here. A little bit darker. Play with the colors a little bit. A little bit of a lighter color in here. Kind of blend things in just a little. Okay. Kind of liking him. Kind of liking him. Not perfect yet. I think this needs to come out a little bit more. That's his little nose area right there. All right. Let's get some, uh, let's get a few other colors in here. Let's get just a little more of the green. There's my sap green. Oh, let's use this one. Hooker's green. Okay, so now I'm going to do my final layer of things. Let's see. I think I'm going to use a palette knife 
just a little bit right around the base. Let's see how that's going to come out. Right around that, you see the, the long grass right here? Okay, that green is too green. I need to calm that down. Let's add a little bit of brown to it. There we go. Okay, it kind of gives him a base to stand on that's a little more um, defined. And I'm going to continue that a little bit further. Okay. Um, what do y'all think? Let's look at it. I feel like I need something right here. What do y'all think? Your friends are so going to cherish this. I'm excited to give it to them. So what we're going to do, we're going to go have dinner with them probably Sunday night, and I'm going to give it to them. Um, we love the mountains. They did come out good. Water. Yeah, I could put like a little, a little, little pond right there. Prairie gas color is really accurate. Thank you. A pond. Yeah. Um... Let me look up Montana mountains. Oh, ah, I could do a stream. Okay. Streams are much more popular here in Montana than a pond. Okay. So, hmm. let's see. Let's see what we're going to do. I don't want to mess it up. So. <laughs> Give me a second. Give me a second. Let me look at a couple of pictures of streams in the mountains. Okay. Trying to decide where to put it. might have to redo these little trees right here. But that's going to be okay.
Okay, I'm going to have to fix this because that's not going to work right there. I'm just going to let it go off in the distance and then come back like over. No, I'm just going to let it go off in the distance. Okay, um, a little bit of rock. I know I'm being quiet because I'm not quite sure what I'm doing. So I'm just trying to make it work. Just putting some rock. I probably should have done this. Let me do this instead. I'm going to fix this up just a little bit. I'm going to make it... Um, Make it go like this, off this way. That's my roughed sketch of the stream, and then it's just going to go off in the distance right there. And so let's fix this. Let's go back just a little bit. It's going to take me a couple of layers, but I don't want to mess him up. And then we can always make this work. Watch. We're going to put a couple of trees right here. A little bit of All right, we're going to make this work. I didn't know what my plans were here, but I think we kind of figured it out now. You just kind of go with it. Okay, and then I'm going to take my time and just, what do y'all think? Do y'all think that's okay? It's very rough right now. I'm going to make it a little nicer. I just kind of sketched it out in there. I'm going to make the water more white because it's like, 
the streams around here, the water's always like running really fast and um, a lot of white caps. I think that looks pretty good. And then on the edges, I just have some Okay, a little bit more uh, highlight, highlighted areas with white. I'm going to pull in a little bit right on the tops of the heels, basically. I think I'm getting there. Yes, I will, Miss Diana. It's getting there. I'm just going to make a few little adjustments to it. But for the most part, I am pretty excited. I'm going to fool with this a little bit more. I'm probably going to put, like, make my trees come back. There we go. That's what I'm going to do. Look, I'm going to show you all right now. I'm going to make some little trees right in the front. Perfect. Let's make this one go high. Kind of covering it up a little, but that's okay. Yeah, there we go. Mm, I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Play with it a little bit more. Get a little bit more fun. And there we go. Okay, my friends. This has been so much fun. I hope y'all like it as much as I do. Let's see if I can show y'all like large from far away, the whole thing. Watch this blade. It's very, 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 I can't hold it on the blade. <laughs> All right, can y'all see that? We get our little buffalo. It's a little blurry, sorry. There's our mountain scene, and it goes all the way over here. Just an old plain mountain scene all the way over there. This was so much fun. I'm going to have to make these trees bigger right here. Those trees do not look like they're in the right perspective to the, um, to the buffalo. So I need to make them, like, go off of... Let me show you what I'm talking about. They are, they're too small unless they're just like a big bush, but I don't want them to be that. I want them to be bigger so that they have the right perspective. There we go. I'm going to make that tree much bigger. See that? That looks much better already. Had to make that tree almost go off of the page or off of the, yeah, perfect. All right, guys. Great job. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for coming on and staying with me through this because I had no idea what I was going to be doing. And so I'm really excited about how it came out. And I'm really excited to give it to them. And I'm going to take a picture of us giving it to them. Um, hopefully, we'll see them Sunday. So, yeah. Okay, guys. Let's see. Oh, yeah. When I give it to them, we're going to take a picture. We have to take a picture all together. So, all right. Thank y'all so much for coming on today. It was so much fun. And um, yeah, we'll see you next time. Stay tuned. Bye.